All right, it is springtime, and when springtime comes, you start thinking about what things can I do to my house to make it cooler, feel more updated, and be more valuable with the least amount of money possible. Let's get into it. Number one, this is super easy. Replace all those terrible hangers you have in your closet. You know the ones you've got. They're all mismatched. They're from the dry cleaners. They're from the store. Store hangers. Can I keep that hanger? You, you've Everybody's heard it. That plastic, that junky hanger. Get rid of all those junky hangers. Disgusting! Go to Walmart. Go to Target. Go to At Home. Go to Kirkland's. TJ Maxx. Wherever you're at. Amazon is where I got all mine. Buy all matching hangers. Chances are everything in your closet is no more than 200 maybe 300 hangers. You can update your whole closet, have all new hangers, fresh and clean, for under $150, maybe under $100, depending on which hangers you buy. That is a quick and easy update. It'll make you feel great getting up in the morning and seeing that clean, 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 clean closet. The next update is a little more expensive, but it's very, very impactful. Changing all your old, old doorknobs. You might have worn out doorknobs that you hate, you're embarrassed, they're creaky, they don't close right away, it's time to get new doorknobs. What do you wanna get, nickel? What do you wanna get, black? Black is kinda of cool. The gold ones are coming back in, so the crystal ones, depending on where you live. Either way, update those doorknobs. A typical house might have 30 doorknobs. Doorknobs are getting a little more expensive. Plan on 30 to $50 per doorknob. So you could spend 800 to $1,200 on doorknobs. And of course, the sky's the limit, depending on what your taste is. However, a small budget, a thousand bucks, makes a great impact when people walk into your house getting rid of those old doorknobs. One third, quick and easy springtime or anytime update that you might like to do, check this out. Walk into your half bath. Walk into your master bath, walk into your second bath, walk into any bath, and you've got this old builder grade, broke down, cracked up, it's kind of fogging at the bottom of the side. Mirrors. Get rid of those mirrors, pull them off the wall, maybe even let the kids hammer them, it'll be fun to put on your eyeglasses, I'm not recommending that. Pull those old mirrors off the wall, they're usually attached, top, bottom, pull them off, sometimes they're glued, I don't know, do this at your own risk. Pull them off, go to Hobby Lobby, at home, one of these home stores, Kirkland's, a home store near you. However, update those mirrors, it'll, immediately make your room look bigger, better, cooler, attractive over the old mirrors that you currently have there. Get those mirrors out now. One thing that is maybe a little more difficult depending on your skill level, but still pretty easy, updating your fans and light fixtures. You've got these old gold fans, you got these old junky fans, you got the ones with the, they're, maybe they're missing globes, you got all the mismatched light bulbs and all that stuff. Update your fans, update your light fixtures, Update the ones over your bathroom. Maybe update your old flush mounts to these new LED faux cans that just fit right over that hole. Wow. Check those out, go to the light store. Faux cans, I call them faux cans, they're just a flat LED. They're like 16 bucks. You can get a real can, you can get a chandelier, you can get a fan. All these things under $200, some under $100, some, like those little LED ones, 16 bucks. Update your lighting room by room. It's not a big commitment. You can do the living room first, you can do the master second, do the dining room third, secondary rooms after that, one by one, not too big of a cost to start out. You always get maximum value payback on replacing your lighting. Do that. One final update that you can do that's easy, finish that front door. That front door is dingy, it's dirty, it's cracking, it's gross, it's terrible. Maybe you have cracked glass in there. Easiest thing to do, paint it, maybe sand and paint it. I don't know if it's wood, sand it, restain it. You might have to hire a professional, but most of the time this is something, if you watch some YouTube videos, you can do it yourself. A fresh new front door will make you feel great when you come home from a hard day at work and make your house look great. Your friends will love it. Start updating your house today. It's spring, spring has Sprung. Good.